Joining us now, Blake Burkhalter. I mean, you guys have been off to an incredible start to conference play. That's got to feel good going into uh, this weekend when you guys travel to Mississippi State. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're really excited. Uh, we're start we can feel the team start, like, linking together, you know, and that's always good, uh, especially this early on in uh, conference play. So we're really excited to go into Mississippi State and uh, kind of see what we can do there. Sure. Yeah, I mean, just watching you guys, it seems like you're starting to kind of come together. It seems like you guys really enjoy each other's company. And, I mean, was there a turning point this season where you guys kind of realized, like, okay, we can we can really overachieve based on what everybody, what everybody was saying about this team going into the season? Uh, For sure. Um, I mean, Ole Miss, honestly. Uh, okay. We, once we beat them really bad the second day, we were like, I mean – we know we we know we had the like potential to do it. Uh, we didn't come out the third day swinging like we uh, were hoping to. We didn't come out with the pitching we were hoping to. Uh, but we all knew like all right, we we have a chance to do something big. Um, coming into the start of conference play, like we were, I think we were ranked last. Like out of the coaches poll, the SEC coaches poll had us like ranked last. Um, so that kind of had a chip on our shoulder as well. Um, so we were really fired up, and then we go into Texas and and beat them there. And that really, that really got us going. Uh, so we're really excited for it. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, uh, I think what you guys have done so far has been really impressive and obviously a long way to go. Right. I mean, several series left. I mean, uh, you guys are still hungry, but what is it like to go on the road in the SEC? I mean, we hear from players and coaches and I guess the results speak for themselves too. how hard it is to win on the road in the SEC. What about it makes it so difficult, Blake? Um, just the atmosphere when you get in that ballpark. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, the fans are fired up to be there and they don't want you there. And they made that well known. Uh, yeah. I mean, the whole time you're down there in the bullpen there, they got fans just sitting there just yelling at you the whole time, just trying to get in your head. Uh, I mean, some guys it works with, I, I really enjoy it. I don't know. It kind of gets my I, I was about to ask, like, I, I think I would enjoy that too, just to kind of be in the middle of it all. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty funny, but, uh, you know, like getting out on the mound and they start their chants, it's just exciting. Like, the drill yeah. starts going and it's like, all right, this is this is what you're here for. Like, this is why you play in the SEC so for crowds and atmospheres like this. And when you're pitching, I mean, it's a high-stake um, situation as far as, you know, pitching late into a game. Uh, but, you know, when they start their chance and you strike somebody out, I mean, and, and they just kind of go quiet, there's got to be nothing better than that. Oh, yeah. Uh, just hushing the crowd. Hushing the crowd is pretty fun. Um, yeah. But, I mean, any anytime you can get in there and do the job, it's exciting. Right. It's exciting to uh, help your team uh, win the game. So Sure. What's the weirdest thing? Can you recall any weird things that people have yelled at you? Yeah, some lady at LSU is, like, yelling – she was yelling my stats for this year, and I mean, they're not bad. I, I don't know. I thought it was weird. She was like yelling how many strikeouts I had and how many walks and all this, and I was just like, "All right, like, th like, appreciate you telling me my stats. Like, um, this is good." So yeah, no, I, nothing, I think nothing weird. too weird, but yeah, no, I, I mean, that's that's pretty weird. Why, why is she doing that? Um, yeah. Blake, what's it been like playing? You know. A, a D1 as a D1 athlete playing collegiate sports during this time of NIL. I mean, NIL Auburn has really changed the game for Auburn athletes. Um, how has that impacted you? Um, it's been pretty big. Honestly, when NIL first came out, I didn't really know if I was going to get any kind of deals or anything. Uh, but then they reached out to me and uh, it's been really exciting. I've, I've uh, really enjoyed it. Um, they've gotten with a lot of athletes. I got with a lot of the team. And all the teams pretty much enjoyed it. Uh, like, it's, it's exciting. This is an exciting time for uh, college sports. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. And I think it's awesome for fans, too, to get more access or potential access to players. I, I, think, it's, uh, I think it's been great. And especially for, um, for baseball, I would imagine, just because the scholarship setup is so bad. And, and, and ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, I, I think it's great that NIL Auburn is able to help you guys out with that as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, they're, they're saying, I mean, pretty much like in years coming, this is pretty much going to be like another way for another scholarship or multiple scholarships for the team. So this is going to be big for baseball especially. 
totally, totally. Like, how have you seen your game develop from last season to this season? Uh, definitely a lot more command. Last season, I had trouble. I had a lot of walks. Um, and over the summer, I was really working on that, just like throwing strikes, because, I mean, that was the difference maker last season. Uh, and I, I worked on it a lot. I came in this fall, and I was uh, able to throw strikes a lot. And I'm trying to just keep my walks down, honestly, just attacking the hitters. Uh, and that's really helped just get ahead of these hitters uh, this year and, you know, keep that ratio down a little bit, strikes to walks, uh, strikeouts to walks. And um, the cutter, honestly, the cutter mm. has been a big piece of my arsenal that I picked up this summer. Uh, Huddy was trying to help me out with it last uh, last spring, and I didn't throw it in game any. I didn't have a good feel for it. I worked on it. I went this summer and worked on it. And uh, – this fall it was consistent and it's been helping me so far through the season. So really excited for that pitch. So, so is most of that as far as working on command and that ratio that you're talking about is most of it, the physical side of it, or, I mean, I imagine as you become older as a player and get more experience, your, your preparation as far as, you know, how to attack different batters and the research going into the game. I, I imagine that's an element of it too, that helps. Yeah, I uh, definitely had to adjust myself physically. So I had to change yeah. my stance. Uh, like stance a little bit when I came set on the mound. And honestly, it was just getting out there and throwing off the mound more. So it's tough for pitchers. You can't go out there every day and just literally just pound the zone. But I like to get off the mound every day um, and just get like 10 to 12 pitches, just working on command. And that's really helped improve it a lot. Um, sure. But then, yes, definitely uh, mentally, just once you can see that the piece is starting to fall into place, it's the confidence that you can build off that. Once you know, like, yeah, I can command these pitches, then you can just go in there and have confidence that you know, like, you're going to get these guys out. What's it like working with Tim Hudson? I mean, obviously an Auburn legend. I mean, an Atlanta legend as well. What, what is it like uh, getting to work with him as much as you're able to? Man, it's exciting. You know, I grew up watching Tim Hudson. Like, I would, sure. I would watch the Braves all the time. And whenever Tim Hudson came in, I was, I was super excited. Like, he was my favorite pitcher. And it's kind of, I mean, it's surreal, like, He's in the dugout every day. He's cracking jokes with us. He's he's fun. Everybody loves him. Everybody loves hanging out with him. Like he'll do anything for you. Um, and he knows what he's talking about. Like he kind of he brings that mental aspect. He's been in the big leagues obviously for a long time, and he just he can kind of give us tips and pointers and like he he helps my pitch ability a lot more. Uh, he definitely helped progress it as I've been here and I've gotten a lot better about that. Sure, Blake. Uh, preview this Mississippi State series. For us, I mean, obviously, we all know how strong of a baseball program it is, and you know they're uh, they're the reigning national champions. What's it like going to to Starkville um, to play a team like them? Yeah, they're they're missing uh, their big arm, Landon Sims, obviously. Um, yeah. But other than that, I mean, they're pretty. They're still a pretty solid team. Um, and it's going to be exciting, you know, Starkville. That, that place goes crazy. Everybody's talking about how crazy it's been. I've never gone uh, before, so it's going to be an exciting series to go to. Um, but, I mean, I definitely believe we can go in there and win that series, uh, especially how we've been playing. We just got to go in there and pound the strikes on and keep the bats going. Timely hitting. Yeah, no, and you guys have been – all over that. There's no question about it. Blake, thank you so much for your time, man. I know you're busy during the during the season, and you guys are um, going out of town soon. You got a game tonight when, uh, when we're talking. So best of luck with everything happening this week, and hopefully I get to chat with you again soon. Yes, sir. I appreciate you.